Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Susan. Welcome to my kitchen here. Today we're going to do a macaroni salad. Now it got to get kind of warm here the last few days with the, in northern Minnesota. Unfortunately it's turned cold but I still was hungry for macaroni salad. That laughing you hear, I'm sorry, is the dog drinking water. Please forgive us. Anyway, we're going back to cold, but I'm going to eat some macaroni salad, regardless. It's really simple. It's an easy recipe. It's not your typical macaroni salad. I have, in my possession here, two large carrots shredded. I'm going to put these in a big bowl. Okay, we're going to get to the macaroni here in a minute. And with that, we're going to, there goes the dog lapping again, golly sakes. Between the dog and myself, you got a lot of sound effects today. I've got one large green pepper that I've diced. And I've got what they call a medium onion diced. I think it's a little more than, than I want to put in there, so I'm only going to put part of it in there. So this is your mixture of vegetables. I'm set this back here, out of the way. Now I'm going to grab the macaroni. The macaroni has been fully cooked according to package directions. It's not al dente, it's fully cooked. It's been rinsed and cooled. And we're going to dump that in with our vegetables. This was my dad's recipe for macaroni salad. I have no idea where he got it, but as with a lot of his recipes, I found them in a box. Dad was not one for organization much. I found them in a box of recipes in his house, so he'd already passed, so I couldn't very well ask him where he got all these recipes. Now we're going to stir these together and get the carrots in the ground beat, or the ground, excuse me, it's late in the day, please forgive me. We're going to mix up the uh, carrots, the green pepper, and the onion. Get those all. Ooh, that looks good. You're really going to like this. Nice and sweet. Now we're going to take, we're going to make a sauce for it. Now this sauce is going to be one cup of apple cider vinegar. We measure one, one cup of apple cider vinegar. To that, we're going to do a teaspoon of salt and about half a teaspoon of pepper. Just in here. That looks good. Now we've got a cup of granulated sugar. I told you this was a sweet sauce. Okay, so we've got that in there. We're going to kind of stir it to combine. And what I'm trying to do is get some of that sugar dissolved with vinegar. Here we go. Alright, now I'm going to add and you're going to be surprised about this one. A can. This is on this. Can't see the weight on this, but oh, okay, it's 14 ounce. This is carnation. Carnation, the uh, Eagle Brand milk, the thick, the sweet Eagle Brand milk, not the carnation. Um, evaporated milk. Do not buy evaporated milk, please. We're going to put that in there. This is where all the sweetness comes from, between the sugar and this. Ooh, looks good and yummy. This is, uh, this is not Carnation brand. This is uh, some other brand that our Sam's Club sells. I think, oh, it's called Magnolia, but it's uh, sweetened condensed milk, 
Okay, so we've got that in there. Now, something else we're going to do here. Mayo. I'm going to get a spatula and we're going to add two cups of mayo to this. It's been cold and rainy here today. In fact, we were out doing some shopping earlier today and between the rain and the cold wind, we just got blasted. That's why I have a long sleeve shirt on. I was watching um, Janine of Janine's Kitchen. Janine's in Florida and she's cooking in shorts. Well, there you have it, the extremes. She's in Florida and I'm in northern Minnesota. I sure would like to trade places with her sometimes. All right, so we're going to put this in, two cups of mayo. You know it won't be long, and we're going to have uh, some warm weather, I hope. We, uh, this is kind of gross, but we spent some part of Sunday killing snakes. We have just a monstrous amount of those garden snakes that just drive me crazy. You go out there and you go to clean out your flower bed and all of a sudden something moves and I just, oh, but they're coming out in their nests now. So I'm sorry to offend all of you snake lovers, but I don't love, like them. So we got rid of several of them. Okay, let's get this stirred up real good. We want all these lumps out of here. We don't want any lumpy sauce. I'm sure my husband is saying to himself, gee, I wish she hadn't told the snake story. But hey, that's who I am. I don't like snakes. Okay, now look at this. We're going to pour this. I'm not going to pour it all in there because sometimes for some reason the pasta doesn't take all of it. Let's just move this in here. See where we're going. Like I said, this is a sweet macaroni salad. I know you probably make the macaroni salad with the onions and the hard boiled eggs and the macaroni. This is just something different. Um, I'd like you to try it. I think you might like it. I know with a pound of macaroni and all these vegetables, it sure does make enough to feed an army. So it's always good if you're having a lot of company for dinner, fill them up on macaroni salad. Get this, uh, this stirred up. Now what you want to do, once this is all stirred together and you're happy with you've got enough sauce on it. Now remember it's gonna as it sits it's gonna absorb more sauce. Now you can keep the extra sauce in the refrigerator and add it to it if you need to be if you need it later or you could just pour it in now and it'll be it'll be fine it'll settle to the bottom but I think I'm gonna pour the rest of this in here. It's a uh, no, I'm not going to pour it all in. We want to refrigerate this at the very least for four hours. Get all these flavors to meld together. Um, it's best if you can do it the day before and refrigerate it overnight. These little squirrely carrots aren't getting mixed up real good. Okay. Now you, you can taste this. It'll taste a little different. It'll taste a little creamier after it sits for a while. Let me, let me see what we've got here. I always like to taste everything to make sure that we've got enough seasoning. 
the recipe like I said calls for a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper but sometimes you want more salt or more pepper let's see what we got see how creamy that is and you know it's a colorful dish too with the orange of the carrots and the green peppers let's take a taste here and see see what we've got mmm Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. that's good and creamy and boy is this going to be good in about four hours when it chills so this recipe will be on my blog susanspantry.com and I urge you to check it out there are other recipes in there that I think you'll find exciting and something different so until then, blessings to you and your family.